Hey guys, welcome to the video podcast of marketers. I'm Sunny T. Um, make sure that you comment below. I really like the community that we have here and your comments do matter to me and I answer each and every one of them. Like the video, man. Fucking smash that thumbs up, man, if you dig this video and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. I come out with videos every day. Come to my Facebook group if you dig it. It's FunnelHackerPro.com and also I have a private accountability group if you want to hold yourself accountable and if you think you got what it takes click the link below and fill out the survey let's get to the video okay so awario let's take a look at um what awario has to offer now um, it, you know when you look at awario you might think eh you know why would i use this and it looks like maybe it's another one of these things that i'll just have a bunch of um uh things uh you know just laying around another another piece of software catching dust right so but i don't believe so and um when you have a um uh what i call a traffic portfolio um you should also have um an outreach portfolio right um different ways to outreach different people for different things so whether you're a solopreneur and you're doing this yourself, um, I personally will be having my um, virtual assistant or my office manager now take care of this. But you, you make mentions, right? So you can do it for your company brand. You can do it for your competitor's brand. Um, or you can just say, okay, I just want to give you four choices. Um, I'm just going to be looking for anything. Wow, wow, West, right? And that's what I did. So I set up um, mentions or whatever and... Um, so you can set up your own alerts, right? So you can add an alert. And so here it is, your brand or company or persona, track mention, mentions of a person's name. So just say for, say for instance, I wanted to track mention of Cry Lopez. And when I saw a negative mention of Cry Lopez, I could shoot them a, you know, a video about that or somebody that wanted to learn about social media marketing agency, right? Or had questions about that. I could have my VA shoot videos to that person when they when they mention that directly. Um, also, you can do a campaign, so track the effectiveness of your marketing campaigns and responses they get, and then you can choose any topic, right? Um, so let me give you different scenarios on what you could do with this. So I just gave you one for the Cry Lopez thing, right? So, but also, um, um, Right, it says your your alert is full, so we've suspended the search. So I just got the the trial account right now. You only get like um, X amount of alerts or whatever. Um, I think ten thousand or something like that. But uh, you can you can just cut those down because I, I, I added so many different words in here. So um, once you reach your alert limit or whatever, they they're gonna tell you to you know beat it or whatever. So. Um, anyways, so I guess this would be like server intensive. So what you can do is set up alerts for like I set up alerts for marketing funnels, um, like click funnels, right? So if somebody mentions a hard something hard about click funnels or trying to figure out how to funnel hack or different things like that, I can always have my VA shoot them videos uh, to try to help them out, right? And it make it more awareness of my brand. Also, influencers that are saying um, how to use and set up a sales funnels that convert, blah, 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 right? People that are sharing other other content, um, they're sharing it with their people. If they're an influencer, when you can come here and say, look, here's the influencers that are inside of these um, search terms that I'm looking for and how many followers they have. So if I have a video that is... Um, probably interesting to them and they're tweeting this out to their followers maybe one of my videos would be of interest right so um that being said you can contact them and say hey maybe you're interested in this video and re and tweet them the video right um, perhaps they're interested for their um uh, for their crowd for their tribe so you have several different reasons for this outreach and I've been working a lot um, this year I said that I would spend 80% of my time and they say this and I, it's kind of a natural thing for me but they say that you know once you create your content then you need to spend 20% of your time making content and 80% of your time actually promoting the content um, and so that's what I'm doing this year I'm actually promoting my content and also 80% of my time will be spent hiring people right so 
Um, once you get to the level that you have tons of content, then you need to start promoting that content, especially when you have some awesome content. So to give you a quick example, my VA did a really good job on um, a blog post, right? So I'm going to give you an example. So this blog post, um, 15 proven direct, uh, direct mail copywriting samples from the greats, right? So somebody talking about copywriting would probably be interested in this article, right? So um, it's a really good article too, right? So it's proven successful copywriting samples. And he just kind of goes through different different swipe files and talks about um, the copywriting in each one of these files. He did a really good job on this blog post. And perhaps this would be interesting to someone tweeting about copywriting, right? So I, I put that as one of the um one of the mentions here so if somebody talks about copywriting in here and uh so you see direct response marketing i also put in here uh direct response marketing and um i mean you can use this any way you want to i just kind of you know so here's a direct response copywriter producing case studies of the delicate ballet of uh, pvr copywriting and diplomacy so if this guy is a copywriter or if he's just posting uh information and this is on facebook that's another thing i like about this is just not twitter it's twitter facebook google plus instagram youtube and uh, news and blogs and just the web right it's including everything that there's um uh a mention of what I'm saying. So it's a nice scraper. You see what I'm saying? So you get those mentions and people might think that it's not good enough. Um, but it is. It's something for you to think about for your outreach. And it's not like you're going to get massive amounts of conversions. But you got to remember when you're doing things for conversions, right? And I'll um, really quickly, I'm going to go to the blackboard so I can show you what you should think, think about when you're... You probably didn't hear me, but when you're thinking about um, conversions for your brand, everybody tries to hit one thing, right? So, you know, let's let's say um, YouTube, we all know YouTube is my thing. And so most people would just say, okay, I'm just going to go 100% on YouTube and try to get conversions um, from my uh youtube videos but it really shouldn't go that way right what you should do when you're looking for conversions especially for sales is you should try to account for a little bit of everything right so it could be facebook and um you can also use this for your um um insta you can you can also use this for um like selling your products, whatever you have, like a business to business or whatever, doesn't make a difference. So you should also be looking at, you know, Google Plus, okay? Um, and then you should also be looking at Twitter. And so by reaching out to influencers, you should say, okay, so on, on YouTube, maybe maybe I am getting 70% conversions on YouTube. And Now, don't add these numbers up because I'm just kind of throwing them together, right? So that would be 80%. That would be 85. That would be... 90 and then you know all right so there we go all right so maybe that's how things happen for you so you know maybe you made you know a hundred thousand dollars from your youtube channel and that's cool but facebook brought in another ten thousand dollars and then instagram bought in five grand that's how you should look at this right and then google brought in five grand okay and then twitter brought in another ten grand that's what you should be looking at as far as conversions are concerned um, with your with your business. So when you're when you're looking at, OK, well, maybe I'm not going to get any major conversions. Um, I saw someone post about this when uh, we were talking about this on a on a forum. They were saying, well, you know, I know a guy that kind of does that. Um, but, you know, the conversions might not be high, but that's not the point, because um, what if I get one deal a year or maybe I get 10 deals a year and it all adds up to five or six grand. Maybe that's my VA's paycheck or something like that. It could pay off something, right? So I learned this from one of my digital mentors and he's like, when you should, and I believe this is Anthony Morrison. And he was like, and, and I don't even like Anthony for Morrison that like uh, that much, but you can always get something out of, you know, a nugget somewhere. But he says, listen, when you start doing 
business, you'll say, hey, well, I'm just going to start this business just so I can pay my house note. Or I'm going to start this business just so I can pay off my Ferrari uh, note or something like that. Whatever it is for you, um, like YouTube um, pays a certain amount of, of bills. And Jay Leno is a big example of that. He always has two gigs. And even at the tonight, he never spent any of his Tonight Show money. And he says, because I made sure that I did 150 uh, gigs, stand up gigs a year, I would live off that stand up gig money and not touch my Tonight Show money. Right. And he said, I still haven't touched that Tonight Show money, which is awesome for him. Right. And so you should think that way as well. So maybe this Awario, which is on a lifetime deal, will get you a certain amount of conversions. And if nothing else, it will give you a really good bird's eye view of what is being said about your niche or about your brand or about your competitor's brand, um, what people are saying about your competitor's brand. So maybe you need to make some changes, right? So I'm going to give Awario a thumbs up or whatever. Um, it's really easy to figure out. Um, so here's your mentioned statistics of what's getting mentioned, a beautiful little, you know, we all like to see these graphs and statistics and where they come from and, uh, who's tweeting about them most Twitter mentions your Twitter reach of 2 million. Um, and then the top, uh, influencer and then the top actor Twitter person at 10 mentions, um, and the top people on Facebook and look there, your boy is with 56 mentions of my own name. <laughs> so, excuse me. Um, this is Todd Brown, marketing funnel automation with um, a marketing, um, and I used marketing funnel. So at 17,800 followers or whatever. So there you go. This is a pretty good way to get more data. Um, I, all know, we, I know a lot of us already have social insider, and this is not the same thing. This is actually looking at mentions, and you see Russell Brunson is in there with Funnel Hacker TV. Um, Sunny T, four mentions of me somewhere. That was pretty cool. Um, so. And then here's your alert comparisons, right? So marketing, um, what got mentioned compared to um, another marketing. Uh, now I put in like copywriting or something. Oh, my sorry, I'm, my bad. So this is marketing. This is um, just the like, let's just say a campaign of what I'm looking for. And marketing was the name of this. So if you had another campaign with other mentions, this would go against what each campaign so i didn't set up two campaigns so i can't look at a um a head-to-head -head comparison but this will be a head-to-head -head, head comparison about what other mentions got more mentions or whatever right and then again this is the influencers so this is just a really quick video overview actually more than what i planned on doing in the first place but um i want to just give a really good walkthrough on this and how it works um and see here, you can upgrade or whatever, but I haven't done any of that. Um, this is probably way before the deal came up on um, AppSumo or whatever. So, uh, but I wanted to kind of get ahead of the game. This is what I do. You know, this is, <laughs> I try to stay ahead of the curve if I can. This is really easy to use. Um, they're going to ask you to add your Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus and everything. They're going to ask you to ask all that, uh, add all that so they can look, use your account to look at what's out there. So, um once you add all of that, then it's pretty cool. So then you can go over the last 30 days, the last seven days, over the last week, whatever. Um, and then that's it. So you can uh, open in a new tab or whatever here. Um, you can just look at the amount of followers, the mention and the reach. Um, it's really simple. And another thing they had on here in the, re in the, the alerts is you have, um, you can sort them, you can search through everything. You can do filter mentions here to see what, you know, you can just, tw just, I just want to look at Twitter. I just want to look at YouTube. Um, so there's quite a bit here. So your language, you can change languages. I only want to see it in English or whatever. I only want to see it in the U S or you can search just for an author, which is really cool or just for a web page URL. Um, and you see, you can change your include countries or exclude countries right here. Like you can exclude all everything else. And then languages, you can include or exclude all of these other languages, um, which is really cool. And you see that you have your folders um, and your sentiment. So it could be positive, negative, or neutral feedback, which is really cool. So if you want to see something negative about your competitors um, or something negative about your mentions, you can change it to something, um, uh, I guess they find different keywords that would be negative, right? So that's also another good um, 
a reason to grab this, right? There's nothing for me like, okay, so last year, I'll just give you an example of how I purchased software. Last year, I went with total automation for social media because I knew I needed to step up my game on getting my content out there. Um, so now on Facebook, unfortunately, that's not going to be so cool, but it still gave me, it still gives me the ability like with things like content studio um, to just find something really quick to post by, you know, by hand. And that's cool because having all of that is, is fine. And then on other social media networks, it's okay still to do automated stuff. But, and so I bought everything and I'm kind of slowed down on that now. But to give you an example, I just wanted to compare that to something on you. Like I bought enough of that. You can never have enough data. You, you know, like people turned in Adzula because they didn't like the UI, but that's data. Any software that can give you a bunch of data, right? And I didn't see whether if you've had the ability to export any of this. Uh, yeah, there it is right there. So export all, right? So, <laughs> so if you can export the data, get it into a spreadsheet and kind of look at things, get a bird's eye view of a percentage of how many things are being mentioned, it can also help you mold your content calendar, right? So um, this is really important. So anytime that you have action at purchasing data at such a low price, it's really important that you grab that data, okay? So anyways, that's been my walkthrough. It's a really simple software to use. I believe it's really powerful, especially when you couple it with something like Adzula, uh, especially when you try to do uh, influencer outreach. So if you were not able to get uh, Ninja Outreach, and it's so expensive now, you have to pay monthly for it, Ninja Outreach will coupled with something like Limlist, which is also coming to AppSumo soon. So something like Limlist and um, this tool will help you do a bootleg um, influencer outreach, right? So there's a million things that you can do with this. And I hope you guys, you know, I made this kind of extra long or whatever, but I hope you guys really enjoy this walkthrough. You guys can see I normally don't do walkthroughs this long. It's just that um, I really like the software and uh, I really love data. Anything that you can do with data is always a good thing. So remember guys, you got a 60 days money back, no questions asked, money back guarantee. And I've done it a million times with AppSumo now. I'll just <laughs> I'll just hit that refund button because I just decided that I was uh, buying on um, Impulse and get rid of the software. And as a matter of fact, I bought this software with a refund from Jumper AI or something like that. Coffee break. <sighs> Ha, 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 ha.